Hello viewers, how are you all? So today in my video, I will be discussing regarding the IoT protocols which are used in uh, IoT communication. So we have the very first protocol that is MQTT protocol. So uh, before I begin this video, so uh, since uh, if you are new to this channel and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please, please, please do subscribe to my channel. And also if you like this video, please give a like button. Now we'll start the MQTT protocol that is MQTT basically stands for message queue telemetry transfer protocol. So let us break these two uh, words. So that is MQ that is messaging queue and there is a telemetry transport which is used for a transportation of uh, different things or different datas. So uh, basically we have this setup or this architecture which is the block diagram of the MQTT and this functions in IoT as a major protocol. So let us understand why MQTT is the major protocol used in IoT and what are its benefits and how it functions. So let's begin. So uh, first of all, uh, we have this uh, enterprise setup here and there are uh, two rings or two shells in fact you can say and there are some blue spots which are there inside this enterprise. These uh, blue spots uh, are nothing but they are the message queues which are used in MQTT protocol. Then uh, you have some kind of clusters outside this uh, which are the oil rigs vehicles I have just taken for example then you have RFID sensors then you have energy monitoring equipment as well as medical systems. So each of this uh, oil rigs vehicles and sensors RFID energy equipment monitoring and medical you uh, get to see small small rings or small small circles in this. So these are nothing but basically the uh, entities or the objects which are there inside this and like different parameters or different attributes to all these clusters. So uh, what MQTT protocol does is uh, which all uh, services or which all entities they have subscribed to this particular enterprise they are being stored at these places. So uh, this blue spots represents which all these entities or which all these attributes have been subscribed to that particular enterprise. So this basically works like a subscriber and publisher network. So this is the uh, publisher and these are the n number of subscribers. Since uh, in an analogy I can say that since uh, you are watching this video and since uh, you are my subscribers to my channel and like I am the publisher of this video and since you people are the subscribers whenever I upload any new video you get the recent notifications so I don't have to personally send or personally mail you my videos since you are subscribed to my channel uh, you get the recent notifications and latest videos so that's why I always tell you to please 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 subscribe to my channel so uh, now uh, well, we are back in this ambiguity protocol so this uh, messaging you basically uh, is used for data collection across different devices. For example, uh, suppose there is a centralized concentrator. So this is a concentrator basically. Uh, it can be of IBM's uh, message site appliance or something like that. So this is the newest kind of uh, server which is used for MQTT protocol. And then uh, for example, you can say that there is an oil rig vehicle, uh, then sensors are there, then energy monitoring, then medical fields and like for example you consider the case of smartphones as well as you have a smart city in fact you can say so there are uh, there will be n number of different entities in each of these fields so uh, there will be different number of devices associated with each of this and it should have a unique ipv6 addressing mechanism since i have discussed in the previous video in iot architecture uh, for discovering and recognizing these devices so uh, since these devices are into the network and since what MQTT does is it basically is used for telemetry that is from its name itself it is used for message queue telemetry transport. So telemetry basically is, uh, stands for it is used for remote monitoring of each of these devices. So what it does is it basically uh, sits here it basically uh, then monitors each of these devices and its uh, device data collection mechanism is used and it collects data from each of these entities or each of these clusters and it is then sent to the IT infrastructure which is then processed at the back end at the uh, IT framework. So uh, that's how the uh, or that's the uh, way or significance of MQTT protocol like you don't have to go each and every place to collect those device data and then process and then store. So it becomes a very tedious task to deal with. So that's why we have designed this uh, MQTT protocol for IoT. 
and uh, like I said this is a subscriber publisher mechanism so it's also called as the hub and spoke system or publisher subscriber system any ways you can uh, speak so uh, these are the spokes and these are the hubs in circles which you can see and there is a little attempt to enable device to device transfer so uh, it doesn't go to each device and then collects all the data instead since they are uh, subscribed to this particular network or particular server it then collects or sends data to that particular uh, device or network and all device connects to a data concentrator that is this one which is a server uh, which can be a IBM's or any other like message site appliance which is used and you have to prevent data loss in this so for that it works on top of the uh, TCP protocol that is the transmission control protocol for providing a simple reliable data stream so that it is uh, very fruitful or it is very secure over that particular network and it enables applications like uh, monitoring a uh, huge oil pipeline for leaks or any kind of vandalism is there suppose there is a big oil rig is there in ship industry or anything like that and if there is some uh, errors or some kind of leakages are there and if that particular uh, ship or different components in that ship are connected to that particular IBM server then what it probably can do is it can send that particular alerts or notifications to that particular server so that it can take the necessary actions at that particular instance of time so that's where it is used so that is a big benefit of this message queue telemetry transport so this uh, message queue doesn't uh, like overload its capacity it's like you can configure it to at whatever size you want it to be then so device data collection and transport that data to the IT infrastructure that, that is the basic definition of the MQTT which I spoke earlier and then uh, this is mainly used for a large network means uh, you want to create a very large network of small small devices and that small small devices needs to be connected or needs to be controlled or monitored from the cloud so if there is a cloud kind of environment there and if you want to uh, control and enable data collection from all these uh, devices then you use the MQTT protocol over that particular network so uh, well that's all for today regarding the MQTT protocol that is the message to telemetry transport in IoT so there are many other kinds of protocol in IoT as well so I'll be discussing in my future video so stay tuned to my channel so if you think you got educated by watching this video please please hit the like button and if you still not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe thanks for watching my video